Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, Peppermint Roma sugar cookies. I grew up in a family where we made sugar cookies for every holiday. Um, I still remember those sweet smells coming from the kitchen, licking the beaters. Um, we made them for Thanksgiving cookie cutouts, um, Christmas. I just made these with my little one uh, for Valentine's Day. It's going to take a minute there. Um, su super huge on them. A um, couple things we want to remember um, before we get baking is that we do have to preheat our oven here to 375. I want to make sure that's done before we start. Um, as well, I do like to use room temperature butter. So my butter's been sitting out for well over an hour here um, to use real butter. Um, here we go. I've already measured out the four cups of flour. Um, I'll show you real quickly here. It's our recipe. I did get this off a Pinterest app um, to throw in a few of my own ingredients and tweak it a little bit. Um, so the next thing we want to do, we're going to start with all of our dry ingredients. Um, for the most part here. So we're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. Try to level it out. Um, I do just a pinch of salt here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut in our butter. Apologize, I didn't have the knife ready here. I like to cut the butter into chunks. This makes it easier for cutting it all in there. I don't have a pastry blender, which is recommended. I just use a fork. So we're going to add the second stick in. And like I said, I'm just going to use my fork and kind of blend it in together here in this bowl. I feel that room temperature butter makes a huge difference, not only in how the cookies come out, but how much easier it is to blend it into the flour here. Alright, so next we're going to use our second bowl. We've got two bowls going here. Um, in our second bowl, we are going to add our milk, our eggs, vanilla, sugar, and baking soda. Um, put baking powder in this bowl. So I have already measured out the one and a half cups of sugar. We're going to go ahead and add that. And then it's a third cup of milk. Use whole milk. Bring it out our 
eggs here. Oh, it doesn't matter if they are white or brown eggs, um, but I do recommend that they be two large eggs. I remember being little, like I said, cooking with my Graham and my mom, and now that I have a little one myself, I find that I'm baking much, much more than I used to by myself. Um, normally he would be out here helping us, but it is later. We have been trying to fix our furnace for the past three nights, so he's getting some sleep. Um, we put our sugar, we put our eggs, put our milk. Um, we're going to do some vanilla. Uh, it does call for a teaspoon. I don't mind a little extra vanilla personally. It's going to overfill the cap. And then baking soda. And it is one teaspoon of baking soda. I got a half here, so we'll put two of those in. And we're just going to go ahead. And we are going to give it a good old mix with our mixer. You can use a stand mixer, an electric mixer, or a spoon. Real simple here, we're going to dump our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And again, you can use a spoon to stir it in. I do find the mixer does kind of mix it all in a little bit better and the cookies still come out great. This around here so we don't have flour going all over the plates. Tonight this came out a little crumblier than normal, so a simple fix. I'm just going to add a little bit more milk. Not a lot, just a little bit to kind of bind it all together. I'm going to give it another go here and see what we have. Thank you. 
next step that we're going to do is we are going to kind of knead all this dough together. It does take a minute. Um, I'm going to give you this brief pause here real quick. 